girl Lala living here and today I'm gonna be showing you exactly how I installed this gorgeous reddish brown wig this is a lace front and y'all I am living for this color because it's really giving fall and that's the season we in this here is just so gorgeous it has so much volume y'all I'm in love with this hair. So this hair was sent to me by Nadula. And this is the reddish brown 13 by four lace front body wig. The knots are bleached and this is human hair in 20 inches. It does come with pre-plucked baby hair and the density is 150. And I love it, it's like not too much, it's just enough for a nice look. And if you want more volume, you can always go ahead and curl the hair up and tease it more, but I'm really loving everything about this hair. The length also is very, very cute, so I like that. So the hair was fairly easy to install. I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I did, so stay tuned. So this is the box that the hair came in. They sent lots of gifts along with the hair. They sent a edge scarf, y'all. I literally was about to go to the store and get one of these, so I'm currently wearing this right now. It's life, I love it. They also gave some lashes and a silk bonnet along with a brush. I think this brush is so fluffy, so I'm thinking it's for like powder foundation or you know, setting powders and stuff like that. And so y'all, this is the star of the show. This is Nadula's reddish brown lace front body wave hair. And you guys, it looks so good. Look how silky it is. The body on this hair is just phenomenal. I love it. And so inside the lace, it comes with some combs on the side. I don't usually use them, but I guess it's good to have. It also comes with a comb on the back as well as adjustable straps. So everything is pretty much straightforward with this install. I'm gonna go in and start lining up the lace. I'm just trying to make sure that the air tabs are in the correct place and that the wig sits in the middle. And then I'm gonna go in with my wax stick. Y'all already know I'm always going in with my wax stick. So I'm gonna go in and spread this all around the frontal. And then I'm gonna go in with my hot comb and just make it look really really flat this is just to help especially with the flyaways i need everything set back and out of my way because i'm gonna go in and now and mark exactly where i want my gel so i'm gonna be using some concealer and just an angle brush and you don't have to do this if you know exactly where you want it to lay already but i just like to do this because it helps to keep everything together So once I know exactly where I'm going to place my got to be gel, I'm just cleaning it off with some alcohol just to remove oils, dirt, anything, makeup off of my hairline so that I get a good longevity with my wig. After my gel is on, I'm going to set it on cool with my blow dryer and then I'm also going to go in with my got to be freeze blast spray and once I spread this around again, I'm going to go in with my blow dryer just to get it nice and tacky and I'm always blow drying it on cool and then I'm gonna go ahead and line up my lace and just place it down we 
Once my lace is placed, I'm gonna go in with my edge tie and I'm just gonna tie this down so that this can melt in and look real flat and like give scalp because that's that's what we want our wig to always do. We want it to give scalp. And so I'm gonna go in with my scissors now and just cut off the excess lace. I just didn't want it in my face so that was the way I cut it. You could cut it however you want or just don't cut it yet because I'm still gonna go in and finalize the lace but I just wanted it out my face so I can go in and start my part. And so I'm basically doing like a slanted side part. So that's what I did. Then I went in with my wax stick per usual and now I'm hot combing it just to get that section down. So my lace melted down really really nicely and so I'm going in and cutting my lace. I started off using the scissors and I was like you know what maybe I should try a razor to get it more accurate and y'all I'm just going to go back to my scissors. It works for me. If you like to use the razor by all means use the razor but the scissors just gave me a closer cut to the actual hairline and that's what I needed. So once I cut off all the excess lace, I'm going to go in again with my Got To Be Free spray and just press this into the hairline. You may have a little bit of the lace that raises up when you're cutting it because I kind of pull it up just to make sure I'm getting by the hairline as much as possible. So I just go with my freeze blast spray and then I blow dry it on cool again. So what I'm doing now is defining my part again with some concealer and this is just going to give it a more natural look. I know it sounds like it's not natural because it's concealer but it makes it look like scalp like it helps to define that part and just give the hair a nice look. Once that's done, I'm going to start on my baby hair. I'm just sectioning four parts of my hair. So I'm showing you guys the right side and everything I'm doing on the right side, I'm gonna do on the left side. Everything I do on the left side, I'm gonna do on the right side. So once I section out the baby hair, I'm just gonna tie my hair down and start working on my curling. So this is my first time actually like really really trying to curl some hair and y'all I think I did a really good job. I put some heat protectant on my hair and then I took my curl barrel. I think it's 1.5 inch and I just did the same method that I'm doing right now throughout my hair and I pretty much love the curls. It lasted, this is going on day four right now so it lasted really really long and I love that so yeah. This is how I curled my hair. And once I finished each curl, I went in with some freeze blast spray. And this might have been what helped to hold the curls so long because they really held very nicely. And so I'm going to take off my edge tie and I'm going to go in with some foundation powder right around the hairline just to help blend it in, melt it up and make it look like scalp. So now I'm on my baby hair, I'm going to cut them, then I'm going to take some of, some of my lot of body mousse and I'm just going to put that on the hair and then use my edge brush and just give it that nice swoop. So once my edges are done and I'm feeling them, which I am, 
I'm going to tie down my lace one more time and this is just going to set my hair for the final look while I do my makeup and boom, boom. <laughs> Y'all, this hair looks so good. I mean, oh my gosh, y'all. I just love the hair. Like I said, it had lots of body. And also, this color is just so phenomenal, especially for this time of the year with fall. It went so well with my skin color. It just looks so good. Like, I got so many compliments on this hair. So that's the end of this video you guys if you enjoyed this install and this look i will have all the information down below inside my description box along with a discount code that you can use to save some coins when you go ahead and get this gorgeous wig if you guys enjoyed this video go on ahead and give me a big 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 thumbs up subscribe to the channel so you can see more videos by me and i'll see you guys in the next upload bye